Hey, Silver Tubers, it is Mr. Z coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench. I wanted to test out a new phone I got today and in the process uh, go over the pickups for the week. And so I'm not sure how the video quality is going to come through, but I am going to try this nonetheless. Uh, in one bag, I got my, we'll call it pay for the week pour silver, um, just some bullion direct one ounce rounds. I want to see how this thing focuses, how well it focuses at different distances. Um, I've been using an iPhone 6 and I just got the Galaxy S8 and so I got there. I got this very interesting, I'm not 100% sure what to do if I should melt this or just keep it. Uh, Republic one ounce silver bar it's a very clean looking bar uh, I'm very impressed with the quality of it um, and so I got that I got a chippy as he said I'm gonna have to get the uh, have a berry Merry Christmas it's got a clear coat over it I'm gonna have to get that off before I uh, before I melt that because I don't want that gunk in the uh, in the crucible and then I got this big old two ounce fine silver uh, copy of an American Eagle um, from 1987 and so those were my wages for the week for helping out and then I picked up these you know you go and you get and then you end up spending <laughs> But I got I get a smacking deal on it, so I got this bag full of 50% uh, British sixpence. Um, I went through and I separated the sixpence we had into the various different uh, countries, and these were the first that I. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting the hang of where the camera's at on this phone. Um, I separated them by country, and so these were the British ones. Let's see if I can get it to there we go all right that's a good one 1939 and so I didn't even I don't even know how many are here I just I weighed it I bought them by weight um, so let's do a little count here and see how many I actually got and so let's see we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty of those 20-50% British sixpence and then my Swiss Miss I got the little ones I got the uh, little Swiss Miss and these are uh, oh, flipped the wrong way which way is up there we go these are the half francs and they're 0.835 and I got a few of these um, and they're they're pretty much all in good condition there's a few that are worn a little bit more um, but I picked these up as well so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I think eleven of these these were pickups for today for the week really and I'm not sure if I'm going to put these in tubes or put them all in flips. I, don't, I didn't look at the years. And then lastly, I started my tube of um, Morgans. I wasn't going to do a tube of Morgans, but I decided I'm going to do one. There's an 1889 with uh, no mint mark. And I got a really good deal on these. So I'm going to continue to grab them. There's a 1900. Uh, or, yeah, 1900, no mint mark. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I don't see as well without my glasses anymore. I'm getting old. 
And so, and there is a 1888 uh, with no mint bark. So my first three Morgans towards my tube. So I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Like I said, I just wanted to test this camera out and see how it worked. And I, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. We'll see how it comes out with uh, the video editor that I downloaded. So if any of you have a uh, an Android-based video editor that you guys recommend, I am all ears. I appreciate it. Mr. Z coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench. Cheers.